Oh, it works oh fine. yeah, 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 yeah. Those work really well. This is beautiful. Hey. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I felt better. Good morning though. Last night was the Streetgasm launch party. Well, it was pretty messy, I'm not gonna lie. But, <laughs> anywho, this hotel though, Kempinski, amazing people. Turns out they watched a video, they sent us a bunch of champagne, and then look at this. This morning we wake up and we have chocolate and a little note which says, last night was fun, this morning not so much, we've got your back, Kempinski. And they gave us aspirin. So that helps a lot. Very, very cool to see all of the cars there. And now we are going to head down to try and go. God, I actually, I'm trying to be energetic, guys. I'm really struggling over here. I'm really struggling. Let's go see some cars. Woo! Base. We managed to make it down from the hotel room, which is right up there, the two balconies yeah, over there on the goes, right. Yeah. There are about 120 cars, so I obviously can't show you all of them, but we're going to walk from here, which is kind of like a quarter of the way up, and then walk down and see what we've got. Look, we've already got right here, Hello Kitty, Audi RS4. Pretty random, but that's a fully female team, which is really cool to see on a rally like this. Targa GTS. Awesome, a lot of RS6s on this rally, but it makes total sense after driving in the M5, being in a comfortable go comfortable why. car. Yeah, I understand perfectly. Performante, the first of a few. This one's actually Monaco plates. Another, there's a lot of Targa GTSs. That seems to be a popular car as well. This one you've been seeing a lot over the last two days. Oh yeah, that reminds me, if you haven't seen the last couple of videos, you need to go check those out. Oh, this is one of the highlight cars. This is a fire truck where they've actually put like hoses and lights. They've modified the whole thing. So it's basically a fire truck. So very cool to be able to see that. People. The water is right. Oh yeah, so this is like a water cannon type thing. And then effectively, they, they keep parking it in areas and then just squirting it out at people. Uh, I believe it's a performante or it may... No, it's like actually, Gallardo. it's a normal Gallardo 560, but they've kind of performanted it out. I'm just showing you some of the cars because there are obviously oh, look at this. so many. Look at this. Yes, this, obviously the highlight car. This is our ride. We managed to wake up pretty early and actually get it in the front of the, of the, what? Uh, I'm struggling, dude. I'm really struggling. The front of the grid. This is probably one of my favorites. Lamborghini Aventador 50th edition with, I believe, a DMC wing on the back. Very cool. All orange, orange into oh, a diamond matching, stitching. Matching. Very cool. 50th anniversaries are mwah, gorgeous. 488 Spider, very nice looking. This one's got a very cool wrap. People go crazy with the wraps and the costumes. We'll be showing you some of that. Sorry, they're about to start. It's a bit loudier, but this American flag 488. And then, okay, here it gets pretty special. Look at this thing. I don't know why it's not getting more attention. This is a dark olive green GT2 RS. Whoever's brought this on the rally, total baller, because they probably just took delivery and not many people are putting mileage on this. There's also an 812, so whoever's got that as well, but that must be way down the other end. I couldn't find it, but you'll see them eventually. I think it's about the time to get this thing start here. Now that is where we are headed now. I'm very excited, very, very excited. I've never, I know you've been to Croatia before, but I've never been to Croatia. Rookie. So I'm so psyched. And this is something I maybe didn't explain to you guys, but streakasm is different from the other rallies because you actually have no idea where you're going. It's you know you're starting in Porto Rose, uh, and then every time you arrive at a destination, they'll give you the roadbook for the next day. So until then, you actually have no clue where you're going. Streetgasm is also brilliant because it allows you to drive roads which aren't just motorways, which a lot of rallies do, it's just motorway from one destination to another. Whereas Streetgasm, they actually make you take beautiful scenic routes. So we've had some amazing drives on these little roads uh, following a super loud Aston Martin. <laughs> Right now we're following a Performante and an 812, which is pretty cool. I've been in Croatia only for a few hours now. Oh, wait, wait, by the way. <laughs> no! So the camera might be shaky as well because we are on some pretty bumpy roads. Amrit's holding it very nicely. Ooh. And man, this country is gorgeous. 
I love this. This is one of my favorite things about Streetgasm. It's a bunch of friends driving on some of the most beautiful roads in the world. It's so much fun. That's MX Drive. Last time we tested the M5, it was more in like a city um, sort of context. Daily, daily ish test. Daily ish test, whereas this is much more, much more a test of what the cars actually like to drive. Now, 600 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque, just over three seconds to 60. Oh, this thing is a beast. It pulls like crazy from any RPM. You just boom, you put your foot down and you go. Now, it's a four wheel drive car, but as you probably know, you can choose to go into two wheel drive mode. Right now, because there are massive cliffs, cliffs right next to us, we are actually in four wheel drive mode. You can actually put the power down really well. It is so fast, guys. I mean, like, ridiculous. We were dragging a Turbo S earlier, yeah. tuned and keeping up. It's crazy. I mean, how these super slash hyper sedans, we covered that last but time. This is like the level now. I mean, yeah. the next cars, the next M5s, you know? When Where are they gonna go? I mean, it's so fast. We're doing speeds which we should not be able to be doing on roads <laughs> like this. I mean, it's terrifyingly fast. Carbon ceramics on this one, so it means that, you ready, Amrit? Yeah. Oh. oh. It works oh fine. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> those work really well. God, this place is beautiful. Oh my God. However, there are a few things. This car is very heavy, so you need to work with the car and with its weight. Especially in the corners. Especially in the corners, and it really shows on a road like this. Because cars with less power are slower in the straight line, obviously, but I mean, they can carry so much more speed through the corners. It's got a lot of grip, um, and obviously the warmer the tires get, and we've got a pretty good road surface here, and it's quite warm, so the car's gripping quite well, but you can definitely feel there is still, even with suspension in Sport Plus, quite a bit of body roll, so that's slightly disappointing. I've also got steering in Sport Plus, which weights it up nicely. Everything's in Sport Plus, so my uh, throttle response is really, really quick, and my steering's nice and heavy and direct, but lacking in a bit of feel uh, for me, I think. Yeah, sorry, I'm we're going around this corner. In the meantime. Yeah, I know, right? So the steering is lacking a bit of feel. The car's a bit heavy, but these are all small payoffs for the amount of comfort I've been able to have sitting in the back there. And then now we're on a road. I've done 1,500 kilometers, more probably, in the back of the car in total luxury. And then now I'm hammering it on a little country lane. I mean, how insane is it that you can do this type of thing in a car like this, it just, it boggles my mind. Oh my God, Amrit, let's get out of here. Okay. This is absolutely ridiculous, this view, guys, look at this. What? Oh my God, Croatia, what a beautiful country. Oh, there's a boat which has sunk down there. Look at that. How absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes it's worth just pulling over. We saw this view and we're like, let's put over. Oh look, there's a beach. People just chilling on the beach. What a lovely place. It's a perfect temperature. The sun's going down. Beautiful turquoise water. I like this place. I want to come back here. I want to come back and do it properly because we're just driving through. But man, this is beautiful. What's this? I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, this is today. Okay. Yep, this is us going over footage. Can I give you that? Hi! As you can probably guess, we've made it to split in a split second. Oh, God, my jokes are on fire. Anywho, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll know that that room was absolutely ridiculous. The one we left from this morning. Yeah, we left this morning. This one's not quite as ridiculous. However, we do have two single beds. This is good news. Today was an amazing day. Talked to you about street gasm. And tomorrow, loads of exciting things are happening. We are heading to Dubrovnik. And then there's a big change of plans. It's hard to explain, but it's happening tomorrow. So make sure to check out that video. Thanks for watching. Remember, as always, Amrit stuff is down below, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Hey. Let's go. Bet.